Okay. This looks like it might be my new Giandel 300 watt inverter. I think it's Giandel. Let's open this thing up. Now what I'm wanting to do is show you how to replace this fuse, which the directions don't do very easily. Giandel. Best I can figure, it must be a French company located in Australia. Pure sound wave inverter. So let's cut this open. Okay. There it is. It is a real heavy duty unit 300 continuous and it peaks at 600 watts and it's a real sturdy unit very rugged it's got uh, two two and a half, half amp uh, USB ports has an on-off switch power indicator and two 110 outlets really sturdy here's the back end of it so to replace this fuse let's see here here's the instructions use your manual model number PS 300 B PS I guess is pure sine wave okay okay how to how to change fuse. Let's see if we can get in there on that. Okay, it says uh, firstly disconnect the inverter and external batteries, solar panels, etc. Unscrew the side plate screws and pull out the bottom plate. Don't do it. Unscrew the side plate screws and pull out the bottom. Don't do it, I'm telling you, because I did that one time. And that's the reason I have a new one. Okay, so there's the screw on the side. And when I took that out, Guess what? I heard a nut fall inside. And when I did that, these plates were in there just as securely, the end plates, just as secure as when I, before I pulled the screw out. So that is incorrect. And by the way, on the other side of this uh, fuse, is uh, screws once again do not loosen those screws because under the fuse here is guess what a fuse holder and those two screws hold the screw holder on the inside of this plate so do not remove those screws or you're screwed I may have to come back okay all right, so that little cover just came loose. And there is the fuse right there. It is a blue fuse. So I'm gonna attempt to get that fuse out of there. So here comes the needle nose again. So there's the fuse. And my guess is it's a blue, blue fuse. So, uh, according to what I've read, the blue fuse on this type, which is kind of like a, an ATC blade fuse, this would be a 15 amp fuse. It's just blue. 
So, but take this fuse with you if you want to get spares. Make sure it's the right size. There are also little blade fuses. There are many fuses, which this is not. And large fuses, real larger heavy duty. This is a regular car fuse. Pretty sure it's the ATC style. So let's put this thing back in there. Both sides will be the same. Pop that in there. Put the cover. It's easier to get the fuse out than the cover. Of course, if you follow the instructions, you're going to be in trouble. But the uh, Giandel company was nice enough to send me a brand new one, like you see right here. And I really do appreciate that. But um, of course, I have not tried this one out. But my original one I, I did, I put a 60 watt incandescent light bulb on one uh, input and a uh, candle warmer, electric candle warmer on the other side. And it didn't even make the uh, interior lights on my um, car uh, blink or do anything. So this has an 18 month warranty, really nice. So it's got uh, heat protection, overload protection, low voltage protection, short circuit protection, over voltage protection, and of course the fuse protection. And uh, it's got a slow start feature. They recommend that you, when you plug something into this, before you hit the on off switch, uh, turn the, the appliance that you're wanting to run, or the light, whatever, turn it on first, and then when you turn this switch on, it brings the load to the unit slowly so it doesn't um, kill any of the circuits, the protection that it's got. But um, yeah, this stuff is sturdy, and I look forward to using it a whole lot more. Thank you so much.